Hey, Mary. 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 I can walk to school. My grandma tell you about that. Very much. Do you have batteries in there? No, just laying there. Okay. Hey, where'd you go play? Oh, it's running. Where'd you go play? Nothing. Where'd your grandma? What was I? She was a little girl. What did I say then? Oh, you, the lantern, the lamps when you. Oh, well, this was after a bigger. Well, you were in Chicago. You remembered in Chicago when you lived with Grandpa, Grandma Neva. Yeah. And you told us about the times you had a, after school. You'd come over yeah, from school to clean, the, clean the shades on the kerosene on lamps. Yeah. When we after we moved to Shaw, but when we were on a farm, oh, that's funny. We used to, uh, a little girl, and they used to have parties practically every Saturday. We had a farmhouse. Downstairs was an entrance, and there was a big kitchen. Oh, it was big, almost as big as this. That was bigger. That was your main room, wasn't it? The kitchen yeah, that was, was the main lived. room, yeah. very big room, and we slept yeah. upstairs. And... Well, in Malta, where Grandma's Ricky, in huh? Malta, that kitchen had the yeah. was, they had a corn cob and wood burning. Kitchen stove in Malta. Yeah. And the living room was just a little dinky hole, but the oh. kitchen was up. Yeah, up the main room. And they used to have parties there every Saturday night. And I can remember my mother dancing in that long skirt, holding it up with one hand, you know, to keep it out. Oh, and they used funny. to dance to, you know, practice early in the mornings. And, you know, they had lunch and that. Um, and my dad played the uh, played the violin and that. And yeah, kept that I, I saw a photograph of you. Yeah, was that the accordion that you were telling me about? Yeah. And she she made that. Into and two eventually jumpers she for you. made two jumpers for us. Oh, that's and weird. And we wore those on Sundays. And every Saturday we got our hair washed and put up in rag curlers. Oh. <laughs> rag curlers though. Yeah, in oh, rags so they curled the next oh, that's day. That's funny. And then we I remember another. Uh, jumper outfit like that when we were still small. This was about after we were in school that we had made that to be the white one. We had plaid jumpers like that. And we used to dress up on Sunday. And after Sunday dinner, we used to go out walking into the woods and had my dad and mother and then Teresa and I. Mm -hmm. It was the only ones I remember. And we used to walk in the woods, go for a walk. And, Maybe took some berries out. Maria? And uh, <laughs> and my uh, dad used to make dishes for us out of uh, turnips. Little, little turnips like this. Oh, he used to haul them out for little cups and, and stuff and that, yeah. And cut the bottom off for uh, Turnips? Plates. Yeah, turnips, little tiny turnips. You know, he used to. He made dishes out of turnips for us. Isn't that weird? Oh, I don't believe it. Uh, that was when we were real small. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then funny. we'd go home, we'd have lunch. And then during the winter, uh, on Sunday afternoon, and sometimes in the evening, after dinner, we'd all sit around and we'd crack nuts and play card games. Right, that's. Or the folks used to tell us stories of what they did when they were young and then okay. what do you remember of them of Story. the, of the oh, stories of i don't them. remember what? too don't much you? of oh, that kids, no. yeah, when they were well see yeah. i was only about nine <laughs> ten yeah. at that like, at time sure. yeah. and i don't remember that very much mm. but uh, i remember they used to and my dad and uh, the neighbors used to go out and pick the nuts mm. in a fall and then we'd those nuts. Yeah. Turnips kind of It's good. It's like a hunk of wood. Got, yeah, yeah, we have walnuts in and those little. Uh, like they're not filberts because. Like hazel nuts, I think. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, they hazel. Like an acorn. Yeah, they're no, they're hazel because they, they're inside. They were like a walnut almost. You know, they had divided. Yeah, they right. weren't one piece. Uh -huh. oh, okay. And uh, oh, they were right. kind of white on the outside, mm. and they used to, so. My brother Frank, the uh, man chewed, so he wanted to chew. <laughs> Twin tobacco. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so my dad said, "All right." So he cut him off a great big. Oh yuck! I got to be. Oh no! <laughs> and he gave it to him. He said, "All right, here it chew." And he chewed, and the man were just waiting. <laughs> yeah, right. And did he ever get sick? <laughs> Oh, I guess he laid underneath the tree while the rest of them. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's weird. Uh, 
And another thing I remember too, we, they used to be at Barker Woods, they were called Barker because Barkers were, Barkers made railroad freight cars in town. Oh, okay. They had a railroad factory that they made these, and they owed these woods next to, next Where to was the that? farm. What city? Where, that was near? Michigan City. Oh, yeah, Indiana. Yeah, Indiana. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, and in Indiana. the fall, they had woods there, hmm. and they were just full of grapes. They really weren't those little tiny wild ones. They were the bigger. We used to go out there with wagons and wash tubs that my dad and mother and um, neighbor, and we used to pick grapes by the barrel full. You told us about that. Yeah, yeah going home and then we made jam and, and uh, they made wine out of it. Did they make wine? Yeah, they made wine. And uh, they stopped them too. With your bare feet. Yeah. You did. No way. <laughs> they did. No. <laughs> no, they didn't. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> you can close it if you want. Yeah, close it, Rick, please. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Mm. And then from there we moved to Chicago and then. Where, where was the farm? The farm was uh, in uh, Michigan. Michigan City, Indiana. Oh. Yeah. Mm, that's funny. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, and then from Michigan City, yeah, we moved to LaPorte. Is that Michigan? Yeah, LaPorte, LaPorte Indiana. Or Indiana, I Way, yeah. way back, when you get up in the morning, you know, you had breakfast. Yeah. The kids' pork burnt place. Our oatmeal all the time. Cooked oatmeal? Cooked oatmeal. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We, we were kids. Oatmeal. 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 Just oatmeal and milk, and that was it. That's that's it. Yeah. yeah right. You had no orange they juice. They didn't have orange that. juice or no. cereals or uh, or anything like that. There just wasn't. Well, cereal like puffed wheat and puffed rice mm -hmm. first came in when you were little. Oh, right. Okay. No, do you carry your lunch there? Huh? You know, what do you for lunch? You know, sandwich you, when you went to school. Yeah. Just a sandwich. Or, or peanut butter. Jelly or, or no no peanut butter. No, that's. I can't imagine. Jelly or cheese. Okay, okay, no, it's... Uh, Mostly jelly, jellies, you know. That would be your thing at your lunch? Yeah, lunch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Carry no food. food. We, well, apples. Was there apples? Always apples. Apples, yeah. And my uh, folks used apples. to dry apples and peaches in the summer. Okay, yeah. I remember we lived in a place and we had a great big porch with a roof. And they would put that out on trays and covered with uh, cheesecloth and that. Oh. And dry it on oh, the sun. Uh, and then what would you do? Eat them during her? Well, yeah, well, we'd eat them dried or else they would just soak them, you know, and then they'd pies and stuff out. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's funny. No, that's what I was saying. You know, when the kids get up, you know, they get money every cornflakes. What would you have? The kids yeah. carry their lunch. Well, what would you lunch? kids have when you were little? We just come for lunch. We have Campbell's soup. Well, we I mean for breakfast. Full meal, cream of wheat. Full meal, cream of wheat, and that yeah. because of the dry cereals were just mm -hmm. the dry, first dry cereal cereals that came in was when the A and P opened the store on Grand Avenue there, yeah, right. a big store, and they sold nice crispies and great big cellophane bags. Mm -hmm. like Plastic, I remember that. And yes. um, puff, puff wheat and puff rice, I can remember. Puff wheat and puff rice, that's all they sold for oh, a while. It wasn't like cornflakes or that kind of stuff. And, um, no. and cornflakes they had. Okay. But you could eat kids in like that to begin with. Mm -hmm. And I'd buy uh, cream of wheat or cocoa wheat or all that stuff and they'd say, oh, can't we have oatmeal again? Yeah. <laughs> we used to walk home for lunch so we had to come home and have toast and jelly. Toast and jelly and that, yeah. toast and jelly and tea were your mm -hmm. favorite. Yeah, right. And whatever I had left over from supper the night before. Yeah. I'd warm up yeah. if it was uh, you know any kind of meat and gravy or potatoes, maybe I'd fry the whole bunch together. I'll just make uh, gravy and meat on on um, yeah, really. bread. Mm -hmm. But when you were and little you didn't you never took the meat. Or you, you never took lunch meat, or you didn't have lunch meat, but I never. I mean, you know, I don't. Meat. I don't remember. No, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. And the average supper time was down the farm. You didn't run to the store and buy pork chops or. No, well, whatever they butchered. Okay. And we had we had meat and potatoes. And yeah. And a vegetable, whatever you know, cabbage or carrots or whatever. 
Turn Which up brutal. Some yeah. You didn't, you didn't, go get, you didn't nope. get frozen Brussels sprouts. Or no, or anything <laughs> like that. Oh, and nice. whatever you, yeah, all you can. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, right. we had a root cellar when we lived out in the farm. You know what a root cellar is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we had a root cellar. Oops. Oops. Okay, tell Bill what a root cellar is. You know what a root cellar is? <laughs> no. You go out in the backyard and you dig down like this, deep, you know, down into the ground. And then you put wooden planks over that. And then you put dirt on top of that and covered with straw. So when you went down, there was just a dark pit. There was never any lights or anything in there. And that's where you kept your veg your potatoes and all your vegetables. Oh, keep so all they, winter, wouldn't it? Huh? Keep, keep, keep all winter, yeah. yeah, because they wouldn't freeze down there, see? And it would be cool at the it same time. It would be cool. It wasn't hot in there that you had to fix it so it'd be on a pool. And you kept all your vegetables and stuff down there. Sort of like our crawl space. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Yeah. Only it was on in the yard. And then you had one of those doors. You open that up, you know, trap door oh, and that sort of thing. Okay. And then a few steps down into it. Mm -hmm. uh, where did your dad come from? He came from Australia, Vienna. On a ship or? Vienna? Austria. Yeah. Austria. 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 Vienna, Austria. Yeah. Yeah, Vienna. Because remember you were talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a picture of him with a bunch of old cronies. Yeah. In, his... in a storage, you know. Down the middle was he, he Was he married at the time? Or? No, he wasn't married. And then he came, and then he, he got married. He was married twice. He was married twice, mm -hmm. and he had uh, two daughters and a son by this first marriage. And then uh, his wife died in childbirth, and uh, then he married my mother, I guess, Losh, a little while. But no, he must have been, because the girls, the other sisters were practically grown up. And That's that. what I thought. Yeah, yeah they were grown, practically grown up. Because you talked about those. Uh -huh. them. And then, of course, those couple of them that stayed home with them for a while. But then they moved into town and got a house. Mm -hmm. And my dad and my mother lived on the farm. That's where I was born. But they were friendly. They visited back and forth. We used to visit back and forth on that. And we, we went through a bunch of uh, pictures of Aunt Teresa's and Uncle Louis. And there was some pictures of some. There was? I yeah. would like to see. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. well, wait, was your mother born in this country then? No, she was born in. Uh, well, Louis said that she was born in uh, Poland. What's her maiden name? Grandma's a swan. Swan? swan. My mother's maiden name. Yeah, swan. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's swan. Right. A swan. swan. I just s s a w i c k or something like yeah, that. Yeah, which is Polish. Yeah. yeah it's it's swan. But we changed it to swan. S W-A-N-N-R-A. Well, Grandma's with you is, is yeah. Matilda or Tilly. Till, yeah. She's Norwegian. Yeah. What mm -hmm. was her Evenson? Uh, yeah, her name is, yeah, Grandma Swan. Your, your mother was what? Um, my mother was Swan. Swan what? First name? Mary. Was it Mary? Okay. Yeah. No, I, I, I remember yeah. seeing her in the old apartment upstairs. Well, sitting, you know, with a yeah. lampshade, with a little dangly thing yeah. in a lampshade. I remember she that. She used to babysit. But you watch, there's a picture over in Louis' uh, cell, oh, basement. Is there? Oh, on the wall there. Yeah, yeah on the wall oh, there. Shucks. But, but it's um, Mary Swan. Didn't I show you the, the picture of my mother down there? No, no, no. no. She, the picture of her down there. When she was young. Was with you. was really young. young. We saw the pictures down there. Yeah. We, were, we were speculating as yeah. to who, you well, know, she who was, people were. She had a white blouse with a high neck. Mm. Her hair was down on top. And then, uh, real nice well, I remember, Yeah, yeah, very pretty she, lady. Well, Beautiful lady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She came from, you said, you started to say that she came from, or Louis said she came from Poland. Poland, and Aunt Teresa said she was born in Germany. Oh, <laughs> so it's so, so it's either a, coin, huh? a German yeah. pole or a, or a <laughs> Polish she, pole. But it was yeah, Polish. she was. Uh, 
her folks are Polish, but during the Depression or the war or something, they went to Germany. The First World War, yeah. Oh. And okay. not the First World War, before the First World yeah, War. Yeah, before that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. And right. that's where she was born in Germany then. Okay. And she told me the name of the place in Germany. But I, I kept after her, and kept, even the last time she called me, I said, be sure and write that down so now. What city, yeah, right. Yeah, Where and what you? city and what year and all that. Well, uh, she said she had my dad's birth certificate in that. Mm -hmm. But now what happened to it, I don't know. All the papers. Now, Uncle Louie has got a bunch of papers, old stuff. Yeah. And he does, you know, I don't know what, what some of them are old, very, very old. Well, they he sort of, he'll give, He's going to give them to us. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see him? No, he wants to go through them first so yeah. he gets everything resolved. Mm -hmm. but, uh, okay, so, Mary, the grandma. Uh, grandma her? Mom's mother was me, Mary. Like, grandma's with you, oh, yeah, Mary. Yeah. That's neat. What else, Bill? What are What's we? your name? Huh? What was your major? Neva. 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 N-E-V-A, Neva. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, okay, any special that, questions? When, yeah, remember anything about um, any national history events, a war, or an election, scientific way from the disease? When you were very little, or, did, they, did you go get your vaccine? You know, you had a vaccination we have now. Never had a vaccination. Never. No. Oh, I guess I had never took. Yeah, so, I don't either. I never took. I don't have a scar. I don't remember when I had it or anything. Well, you went to school. Did you ever go to the doctor? No, never. They didn't have any school doctors, school nurses. Okay. Okay. Anything like in school? Did what they else ever, did you say, Bill? Historical events, you know, uh, things that happened when what? you were when you were in like first, second, third grade. Yeah. You know, Bill. Yeah, Bill was in the you know born after the Korean War even. He was in, born after the Vietnam War even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I don't. I was. Uh, you were too little during World War One. When the World War One ended, when did it end? In 1914. Well, 14. Yeah. <clears throat> I was born in 1903. Yeah, right. So you weren't doing. So six, I don't remember seven, too much of it. Mm -hmm. But I remember that when the armistice was signed. Yeah. Okay. Because the bells were ringing, the people were crazy were outside, and oh, everybody was outside, and bells were ringing. Well, you didn't have a radio, did you? No, there, there were no radios. No radio even though, when oh. Grandma was a little kid. There wasn't even a radio when Grandma was a little kid. So how did you hear about the end of the war though? Well, by word of mouth, you know, telegrams and that. The newspaper. newspapers. The newspapers, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. so what, what was the radio then? Well, we didn't have a... We didn't have a TV when the Second World War started. No, no. There we was had no. a radio. 1945. Mm -hmm. you know, there was no radio. I remember, I remember there was, that there were no radios. No, 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 <laughs> or no TV. No there were radios TV. then. Yeah, in fact, right. the radio was in when I was a little kid. Uh, just started. But I was born before television. Uh -huh. I terrible. remember when uh, when um, uh, radios first started, uh, your grandpa, that's his dad, made one out of oatmeal box and wires and stuff. Yeah, with the antenna crystal. Yeah, yeah then you set it in a dish pan and then you had little, then you sat there like this, listening to yeah, it. With your remember the crystal radio? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what they had. That's, that's what we had. Those crystal That's the only that thing we had. Yeah. No, no. No electric radios? Yeah. Huh? No. no electric radios? No. No. No, not the country. Because I can remember the... Uh, well, even while we were in the city then. Well, you talked about... Somebody talked about the time they had the radios and they had... There were tubes. And they had batteries. And you used to come to the battery. Okay. And when the weather was right, you could hear the radio. But if it wasn't, you couldn't. Yeah. Like Sunday night, you'd, you'd turn the radio on by hooking up the batteries to the radio. The radio, yeah. They could listen on Sunday evening to the radio off the batteries. Which was a big treat. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Oh, that's and 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 um, when I was first born, there were very I don't know if they were they were cars. Yeah. Just but not beginning. very many cars. They were just beginning. They had steam. And not very many tele. Not very many people had telephones. Mm. Yeah, we had a telephone when I was a kid. Yeah, like we, when you were a yeah. kid, there weren't any. No, there weren't any telephones. We had. A, Go to either to a store or down to the saloon or someplace where they had a telephone oh, to that's use. Funny. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. You turn the crank in a little bit? Uh huh. Mm. That's funny. Okay. Well, okay. you just turn the crank a bunch of times and get the operator. Yeah, yeah that was a magneto. It was an electric generator. The operator say, number, please. 
before. And then half a dozen other people would put the re take the receivers off the hook. Yeah. <laughs> because like they could hear it. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a one party line, you had a whole town full. <laughs> you told him the phone. When your dad came to... over here, did he come over by himself? Or you... I really don't know. Mm. I don't know. Okay. Because many young kids did. Either. I don't know. But yeah. I... You remember but anything over? Yeah, yeah, I don't know whether she came over alone or whether. See, now Teresa was the one that had that information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I kept after all summer long. Yeah. She would say, I'll have to write myself a note, so I'll remember. Oh, that's, that's funny. Good. Good. That's and it just, yeah. Yeah, time ran out. Funny. What were you yeah. going to ask him? We were you thinking of any president assassinations? Huh? Any presidents? Or anything about the presidents or about the political <laughs> When they were assassinated? Structure? Well, Daly was elected mayor of Chicago. Right. When I first, my first, when I was 18, I voted for him. For Mayor Daly? For Mayor Daly. Oh, wow. And that was the first time he was elected? For sure. Uh, yeah, I think the first time he was elected. Oh, oh my. Do you know, I don't remember yeah. who the president was. Honey, and Bill? Was it? Mayor Daly passed Wilson? away, what? What's it been? Three, four years? Yeah, Since not he died. Oh, yeah, but he was, yeah. He was mayor of Chicago for all Forever. that time. <laughs> all that time. Yeah. Grandma was 18 and she voted for Mayor Daley, and he's been mayor ever since. Yeah, well, <laughs> up to three or four years ago. Oh, well, well, he, he got killed. Huh? Four years. How, just, how, how did we vote? Well, how often? Every four like years. what they do now. Every four yeah. years? Yeah. Every four yeah. years. For so. president, every four oh, years. Oh, my gracious. And hold it, you're what, 70? I'm, I'm 77. 77 now. I'll be 78. Coming up. Next month. Next month, yeah. Well, I'm almost 78. Yeah. 74. Oh, wow. <laughs> Go ahead, Bell subtract. <laughs> you got to calculate it out. Mm -hmm. That wild. Oh, minus 18. 56 years. Yeah. Divided by four. Well, we had, what's, what's a girl? A lady. Lady of Mary. Uh, four, yeah. 14 times we've been looking for. Well, minus about two times. About 12 times we've been there. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Yeah. Hey, I didn't hey, think it was around that long. Do they have watches yet? Huh? Yeah, wind-up watches? No, no, no I don't think we had wristwatches. It's not be some sort of... Oh, yeah. didn't you have little... little uh, oh, oh yeah, little we had watches. watches. Yeah, you would pin on. The ladies used to pin their watches on their yeah. dresses or... Or what were they... They were on their... Or were they lavaliers or... Yeah, you could either have them on a chain or on a pin, sort of. More like a necklace. And the pin was kind of shaped like a bowl, and then a watch came down. <coughs> yeah. Dick's got my mother's watch, too. Oh. Who has? Dick, yeah. Mm, okay. Well, and Teresa gave it to him yeah, quite right, a while yeah. ago, but I don't think he ever had a fix. Okay. Mm, oh. Gracious. Yeah. That's when the watches were made of gold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With gems. Right. Yeah, with gems. I was going to say something to him about it, then I. Well, that's yeah. That's hard. I really didn't. That's why. Because then Teresa gave it to him. And yeah, right. Sure. And Mayor Daly. I think was it Wilson was president at that time, or I don't remember who was president even. I went with Grandma and Grandpa Swicky and voted. Scientific. Yeah, see, Grandma didn't well, what, have. When was the Great? When was the Great Fire? Was that the Chicago 18th? Fire? Yeah. 1800s. That was before Grandma, though. That was long before. Oh yeah, it was yeah. long back in the eighteen hundreds. Back when Chicago was made of wood. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's that goes back long before Grandma was born. In fact, I remember the streetcars. Oh, what, about, street. what about the sinking of the Titanic? Do you oh, remember? I remember, just barely remember that. I can remember the confusion and the, and the papers, the extra papers. And everything. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. It happened on a Saturday. Really? They were going on a cruise. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Even now. Anybody know who went on the ship? No. Uh -uh. And uh, the, like the Zeppelin, German yeah, Zeppelin, yeah. a blue one. Yeah. Well, you should have. It just went out. We was, lived. I was a kid. Though, it we was lived on Normandy Avenue then. Okay, that was 32, 33, 34, 35. Oh, yeah. what about that, that broadcast, War of the Worlds? Um, who That's was that? 1938 or 39, yeah. Yeah, I. Did you? No, because I don't think we listened to it then. Or, 
Um, no, it's the radio show. You listen no, to radio, radio show. Yeah, right, right. No, but I just wanted yeah. to you. No, we didn't. Uh, they didn't. Uh, I don't remember anything about that. But now we were more scared or anything. Yeah. Uh, we didn't pack up and go. No. <laughs> no, I just wondered if you heard it or if you heard no. any, you know, if anybody you talked to. No, and, no. And uh, listen to it. No, no. Because I never heard about it until they had a rerun or something. Oh, okay. Well, I remember laying in bed, though, in uh, Normandy. And Dad would have all his buddies over. He played violins. And yeah. They played Barnett's. Yeah, Barnett's music. They played uh, Barnett's music. That was a, a fiddler. Well, he used, he used to play for WLS. Yeah, WLS Radio. Barnett's. WLS Radio was a prairie farmer station. Mm -hmm. It was a farm station. They played the country music and the barn dance music and the square dances and stuff. Do you play uh, from here? And during the Depression, he played for the parks. I can remember going to the parks and listening to them. Yeah, yeah dances and you know, it was like that WPA thing. You got paid so sure. much from then. Yeah. It was, uh, I think there was three, three or four. Well, there was this girl and then Dad and then uh, this other fellow played guitar. I remember coming That's to the house right. and practicing. We live in a we're in a bedroom. Yeah, and then he, they got a bunch together and they thought they could get it. Not, well, they did go for an audition someplace, but they didn't get anything. And then now uh, every once in a while, WLS used to call him, and he'd go down there and play for them. And he played at some of the big hotels. He got a band together of I think it was eight or ten pieces. He used to go down to, he belonged to the Union, and he used to go down to Union Hall. And well, boy, with the Aragon ball, ball. Yeah, yeah, this then, your then when he made $15 a night when he made for that boy, wow. that was big money. Oh, yeah, yeah. $15, $15 a night. Tell me how, how many candy bars I could buy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, what? What was a... Uh, a nickel apiece. We rented a house on Normandy. Yeah, that's... Uh, for what, $30 a month? I remember we were talking about that. I think it was, it was less, less than, than that. that. I think it was 20, I don't know, it was about $25 a month. Yeah. And the landlord didn't care whether we paid him or not because we took such a good care of him. It was during the Oh, yeah, we used to shovel the snow. And, um, we had a backyard. And we, in the backyard. we painted the whole, remember, we used to dig in a backyard where we used to, <laughs> used to dig down the ja <laughs> Japan. China. We're gonna dig in China. Remember, remember the first oh. time we got chickens and Dad, Dad was gonna kill, kill the live chickens. We brought them up, put them in the garage. Yeah. And Grandpa's week was gonna kill them. They were all live chickens. Uh -huh. And we had a bushel basket. And he chopped their head off and he threw the bushel basket over the top of the live chickens. Well, the head off. first live chicken we got, we lived uh, oh, yuck. way out in, in there. Mm. And. Uh, oh, this was in the fall. It was raining, and those darn chickens they would come and roost underneath our. Hard. And they were so uh, wet and bedraggled. So this was during the Depression. We were hard up. So I, I don't know. I said, I said, you know, I said, we should do, we should get one of those chickens and kill it and have it for some. <laughs> <laughs> so Dad went out there with breadcrumbs. With what? Breadcrumbs. Oh. <laughs> he put them there and he put them down the stairs going into the basement. Oh. Outside entrance to the basement. <laughs> Made a trail. <laughs> he, yeah, me, and the chicken followed it right into the basement. Oh, oh no. there. So we got, so we got it into the basement. And then we didn't. What were we gonna do? He wouldn't kill it. No, <laughs> naturally, <laughs> he wouldn't kill it. Yeah, it sounds like me. <laughs> I wouldn't kill it. So you, <laughs> I held <laughs> half against the post, you know, two by four. Yeah. He got a shotgun. Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he shot him in the neck and he killed him. He shot, he shot him in the face? Oh yeah, he shot him. What a 22 or whatever. Oh, what a 22. I can, I can relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> and that was it, though. And he put it in a basket so it wouldn't you know, flop around any day. Well, I was used to defrag because years ago, when you bought a chicken, you didn't go in the store and buy a chicken no. cut up and cleaned up. Mm -hmm. You got a chicken with feathers, and you had to take all those feathers off well, of yourself. What are you doing that? Yeah, yeah, lighting the fire in the stove and burning little pin. And then you had a pin. And so, oh, Lord. <laughs> finally, you, and you had pour boiling water over the chicken to get the feathers, the feathers off. off and the smell. Right? Yeah. And that's another thing. So, finally, we... <laughs> I defeathered it and cleaned it and I cooked it and I cooked it. 
and I cooked it. <laughs> and I cooked it. <laughs> and was it was a tough. And I don't think I, I, a, I don't think I ate a bye. Well, neither did it. I don't know. I can't remember what you kids <laughs> ate any of them. Made soup out of them. They spent the shoes and chicken. I know we laughed. Funny. We laughed about that. Well, you told about that. I think even after long after we were born, you used to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that Lord, night we laughed funny. about it, but every oh, once in a while we shoot. No, think about it. We'd be out riding, see a bunch of chickens. Over there. <laughs> Giggling. Remember the chicken we shot? got in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, that was that was funny. We oh, never Lord. tried it. Again. But those poor old chickens, we thought they one of them would be better off dead than being out there in that cold rain. Right. I don't know who they belonged to, but they were always hanging around our backyard and underneath our porch. I don't think I never left any eggs. No, no. never left it. They were too old. I think. Too old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too old. What else you got, honey? Well, I thought it says to compare their life, chores and responsibilities. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. green, so that's it. It's first. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. School, church, recreation, entertainment, dreams, and inspiration. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. well, what did you do for entertainment when you were a little girl? Yeah. Well, we played with our dolls and sat around with chat chickens. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I was, I was, no, I was married then and had the. <laughs> the kids. Oh, like Christmas. Christmas. Oh, it's Christmas. Yeah. We toys. do what you do. We get toys, dolls. Get dolls, I'm sure. Yeah, dolls and stuff like that. How would yeah. you decorate the Christmas tree? With candles. We had candles and electric lights. Well, maybe have lights and uh, candles well, on the Christmas tree. What kind of toy do you think was a real, real fancy type of toy? Toys? Yeah. Pretty nice. I got an expensive I, type fan, real. Oh, they weren't real. Trying to do a lot? Well, I got a doll once. It was about this way, like a Shirley Temple doll. They had the most beautiful long curls and real fancy organdy dress. And I got one in blue, and then Teresa got one in pink. And they were alike. And they were just beautiful. I can still see those beautiful dolls. You know what happened to it? One Christmas, huh? You know what happened to it? No. Same so thing happened to your boys, but we <laughs> they get lost until they got broken. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. But we didn't get very many toys. Oh, you got, sure. we used to hang up our stockings while your dad and that they hung up stockings. Hung up stockings every year. Oh, yeah. Until yeah. they were Even ready to be the married. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did. I always fix them a stocking. Oh, I put a stocking on the back of the, even yeah. the dad, you didn't have a fireplace, put it on the back of the dad before. Yeah. 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 Okay. And they'd get an orange. And an apple, and some Christmas candy, not chocolate candy and stuff like you kids get. That hard candy on regular Christmas oh, with little trees on it, oh, yeah, and good. some nuts. Mm -hmm. What would you get? And some cookies. Is that what you get in your sack? Well, Karen wasn't born that long ago. Though. I don't ever remember her paying an apple sack. Don't you? No. no. Okay. But uh, the boys always did. But you still get up in the morning and Christmas morning, or do you have Christmas Eve? We had Christmas morning. I think that was our one thing we insisted on. Always had Christmas yeah, well, morning. we had Christmas Eves for the whole family, but should we, mm. you never got your toys, Till even the from the family, till Christmas morning. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. right. Never got any, nothing for Christmas mm -hmm. Eve, even from the family day. But the grown ups of the exchange gets in the evening. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what we think it was? The uh, uh, remote control cars. Huh? <laughs> you bring her, though. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, remote control type cars out. Yeah, remote control cars out. Electric cars. Oh, well, oh, oh no. <laughs> stuff you'd really like to have would be, it'd be too. No electric car. Remember your kid, your dad had wind up. My tank, tank. my wind up tank. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have anything like that in those days, honey. Yeah, yeah no wind up tank. And one year we got, we did get you kids electric train, and we lived on Normandy. Mm -hmm. I think it was you and Alan because the other kids were almost too big. And we had all of them over for Sunday dinner. And Teresa and Uncle Jack and all. And we had that tree set up around, that train around it. 
And those men and everybody just sat there. <gasps> Amazed at Lucky Train. Amazed at Lucky Train. Yeah, going, yeah, they just watch it go around and around and around. Right. Well, really, in, in Indiana, you had, what, you and Helen and Teresa? Yeah. And Peggy wasn't born until, oh, God, oh, no, she was born until the 40s or yeah. what? Yeah. I don't know when she was born. Well, Helen, is seven, Helen is seven years younger than I am, yeah. too. And Peggy's going to be 58. 58. Yeah, 58. Oh, she's 58? Only, she's only eight yeah. years older than me, uh -huh. Peggy. Yeah. Your yeah, grandma's, yeah, grandma's sister is eight years older than I am. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh! <coughs> I didn't realize there was that yeah. much difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, twenty years between Peggy and myself. That amazing. That is. Yeah. But you had what? You were full well, grown was when she Uncle was Dick born. Like, grandma was Louis. grown up when when her youngest sister was born. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Grandma was 20 years old and her sister was. That's yeah. something. Like Rick having a sister right now, or a brother. A baby. And, and, uh, I think Louis is either two or three years <coughs> older than Peggy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because he's not a little Amber. No. Boy, oh, I know. Sister. Yeah, right. Karen, Karen to Rick. Yeah. Karen to Peggy and Rick to be you. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 So, you know, that was that much difference. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Are you taking the No, I don't think so. I might be. Did you take okay. the tape? No. That's I okay. Bought, I bought That's Peggy all her dolls. Okay. We were Who's talking more? about the dolls. I said, I went out and I bought her christening dress. And that. And we lived on Normandy Avenue at that time mm -hmm. when Peggy was born. Oh, you were married then? No, I wasn't oh. married yet. You Normandy? Huh? Oh, down. You were, we were, uh... You were... 2456. And, and we, we were, were 2532, wasn't it? Or 25. Next block up? No, we were, we were right off of Grand Avenue, half a block off yeah, of Grand Avenue the, in that house. Yeah, so you were 2532, 2432, I think. Or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. How many years of education? Huh? Take, How much school did you have? I only had mm -hmm. grammar school. I never even went to high school. Denise? Well, that was the usual thing. You still yeah, school, everybody you know? went at that time. Very few girls went to high school or college or anything. What part is it? What kind of school? Regular public school. Oh, okay. So, at St. Rita's? Yeah. Uh, regular public school. Well, then I went to work when I was um, 14. What did you do? What was your first job? I worked in a, in a chair factory. Chair factor? Yeah, wrapping chair legs. Wrapping them? With what? Uh, what were you wrapping? Well, what, uh, the there was straw with paper on it, then they wrapped them so they wouldn't get scratched. Oh, and ship them. Yeah, you <coughs> oh, shipping. Oh, for shipping. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And then I went to night school for a while, uh, for six months, and then I worked as a proofreader in a printing place. I started working oh. on a printing place. Yeah, right. And I um, oh. and I uh, uh, ran a machine. I printed checks, mm, okay. the numbers on the checks. Okay, yeah, right. And then I had to go through all of them to see that they were all in order. All in order. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, and, then, and they had this machine where you fed these papers in, and then uh, they had others that you just stamped with hand stamp. Oh, with the numbers? With the numbers, just the numbers, and I took care. I had that. And then I started proofreading. And then I did, they, they uh, printed just ledger sheets and uh, mostly uh, checks and things like that. Oh, that'd be dark. That's neat. Mm -hmm. That is far off. So, and a lot of times they would uh, we would print the uh, checks and uh, we wouldn't check them before they were sent out and a lot of times the, they were delivered to these other places, business places, where the checks and then they would find a mistake and then <laughs> I would be the one to be sent <coughs> out there, oh. get out on the street car. I had to leave earlier to get there and, I, mm -hmm. and go through all those checks Make sure that the rest the, of them Well, the sheets were almost as from year to year. Well, and about that wide now, they're all checks, all <coughs> number checks, and then you had to check them all. 
make sure the numbers are numbers are all can see from correspondence. Well, you had streetcars. When I was a kid, I used to ride a streetcar in Chicago. Yeah. I'd just get out and go to music lesson. All by yeah. myself. Yeah. Get up on a streetcar and ride down the middle of Chicago, take my piano yeah. lesson, uh -huh. and ride back on the streetcar in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Golly, how long? They had streetcars when you were kids. Oh, yeah. We had streetcars. You know, you had street they had streetcars with open sides, but I don't ever remember on uh, during the summer. Mm -hmm. They had streetcars instead of seats. This, <coughs> this is a streetcar. And the seats they have are this one. Yeah, right. They had seats this way, seats on this side, and seats yeah, the long on, ways, yeah, right. Yeah, and then you face the sidewalk right there when you rode in. Oh, wow. Yeah. Open, oh, all open. So it would rain or something, you really got wet. <laughs> you got wet. Oh, that's funny. Well, yeah. San Francisco. Well, they, they had, like, like San, yeah, the car was like yeah. San Francisco. Right. That's weird. So that's, they had those in Chicago. <clears throat> I'll be there. <clears throat> Nickel, yeah, a ride. Mm. Any place in the city. Any place in the city, you can, now they're, they're a dollar, 95 cents yeah, right. for one way on streetcar. Wow. If you want to transfer, I think it's either a quarter extra. Yeah, we used to get a transfer you know, for yeah, nothing. Used to tra if you knew the city, sure, you could ride all over the city for a nickel or dime or a quarter or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah. You get a, get a transfer each time. And I when I started to work, I... Uh, well, that was the usual thing. You, you brought home your chicken and you gave it to your folks. <laughs> how about that, though? You know how much allowance I got? When she was working? Yes. None. Grandma was working. No, I was a little bit. A quarter a week. That wasn't very darn much. No. Even then. Allowance. Did that cover? Did you have to pay for your I had to pay. Right if, I, if I didn't walk to work, if I wanted to pay, take the streetcar, I, I had to use a... Yeah, that came out of your quarter. <coughs> I like that point. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, that would work. Well, yeah. they found uh, climate. <laughs> yeah, you know, my Five mom months. and dad, they didn't get along. They didn't live together half the time. Mm. Oh, didn't they really? Oh, no. Yeah, I remember him. He used to go out and pick mushrooms in Kalora once in a while. I remember, mm. remember seeing him. Oh, Did he work? He was a violin maker. He was a violin maker, yeah. yeah. <coughs> he was a born gypsy. Yeah, oh. right. No, really, really that won't go. Was, that won't yeah. be written down anywhere. We but he had, I remember that too. But we had saloons to begin with. We had the farm, and then we had a couple of saloons and beautiful. One of my remember we lived upstairs was a brick building in it, and he'd go off playing his way through life, and my mother'd have to take care of the saloon, and half the time she uh, beer kegs would run down, and she. Did, lift them couldn't, or couldn't go down there, she couldn't tap them, and she'd have to close the place up because she didn't have anything to say. Yeah. Or she couldn't get anybody to help her in that, and then oh, they lost yeah. thousands of dollars which oh, they yeah. had when we had to be done with, and they ended up with nothing. <coughs> what did we get here? Since Grant got a quarter a week? Hmm? <coughs> Wait, that's the price of it. Five cents a rent? Twenty? Twenty? Or ninety-five? Yeah. Yeah, right. 19 times the cost? 19 so, times the cost. So okay. I'd have to get four seventy five a week. Yeah, five bucks a week. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's for everything. That's for your lunch. And then and when you Teresa ride your got own buses. old enough, well, <coughs> Teresa went to bed in the school for a couple of years. Yeah. I was just sorry. Hmm. And so did Helen go to business school. Hmm. Isn't that amazing? And I support, I support the family till I was 20 years old. And then I got smart. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my dad would come, you know, and he'd stay for a while, and he had some land up in Wausau, Wisconsin. He was living in Wausau, Wisconsin. Oh, wow. And when he died, there was a deed to it, but none of us were... Never saw it, huh? uh, Well, the, the, I think, uh, and he, yeah, the, uh, they had the deed, Helen and Harold, I guess, and they never did anything about it. And dad and I, we didn't have the money to go That's up right. there no, and yeah. look at it, and mm -hmm. so... We lost that. And it was, it was a, or uh, I think it was in a, in a wooded land near a lake on that, I guess. Oh, because Peggy and my mom, and that they went up there and lived with him for a while, and then they would fight, and then she'd come back. And then after I left, after I got married, and then um, and Teresa supported him most of the time. Oh, for heaven's sake. How old were you when you got married? I was 24, uh, 25. 25? Yeah. yeah. Well, when she, I got to be 20, I 
my dad was staying with us and he wasn't working and I came home and I was furious I guess at my check. I said from now on I'm paying board. And I, but I think I gave him, I was making about $50 a week, and I think I gave him $25, so yeah, right. <laughs> it didn't leave very much for myself. Of course, that's still better than a quarter, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll say so. Oh, that's a, no, I'd be yeah. smart, yeah. Well, At least smart. I got some clothes and things. Sure. Well, that's a, yeah. Now, that was different so. than those times. Even now they talk about that, that that's mm -hmm. where they were. The old timers came over and they were... Yeah. yeah. It was tough, but it was not unusual in the big well, city. Well, he came from Austria. Yeah. He's German. Yeah. Bullheaded, stubborn. Yeah. yeah. That's where Nancy got hers from. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then we lived when we, well, I was still going to, still going to school. <clears throat> was I going to school or? No, I, I had already left school. I was working already. And well, he, um, he made, he came, I was home now with my mother and that. That was in about time Kenny was born. Mm -hmm. And he made moonshine. Your dad? <laughs> oh, I'll be there. That's how, <laughs> Grandpa and Eva, that's dad. how he made the money and saved it. And that's how he got mm -hmm. the land, brought the land mm -hmm. out in, on Grand Avenue. Oh, Grand Avenue. Oh, that's neat. Oh, yeah. He that's made moonshine? <laughs> back in the, back when there was a prohibition, they called it. And you couldn't make those. And then he built this the little shack for us. And he built a beautiful brick, two family. And we thought, sure, we were going to move in now there. Got and it. Yeah, right. He rented yeah. it out and he sold it and took the money and off he went again. Yeah, funny. Cold for him. Yeah, yeah, here we thought that we were going to move into that shirt. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, right. The same idea. That is funny. Oh, that's. And the cook I went, you had a cook on a little gasoline stove. We three burner gasoline stove we had. We had the gas, you know, city gas on Normandy. Yeah. With a you know, burner with the oven on the side, and, you know, like a little yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I yeah. remember that. Because when you came to DeKalb, I think my dad and us kids went up and bought the first of the new with a modern oven and a temperature control and stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Didn't, you, uh, didn't you ever use a cook stove, a wood, wood cook stove? No, or I never. Uh, we, well, we did uh, uh, when we lived out in the farm and that, but after we moved to Chicago, you didn't, uh, I don't remember using, we used a uh, gasoline stove. Oh, yeah. Well, imagine a gasoline yeah. stove or cook your supper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think we have a tough now? Yeah. 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 This thing. Well, oh, you got three cars. We got three. You got three cars, and one breaks down, and boy, the world is coming. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you didn't even what have about, a car. What about washing clothes? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. When you're when for you're years. After I was married, I washed on a washboard and boiled all my clothes. Well, 30, 40 pair they, of pants, old suits that I used to hang out on the line. Yeah, yeah. every day. Take it down the river and beat it with a no, no, Every day, a clean one, too, and then have the iron, too. Right. You, you didn't have a gas dryer, you got to hang them on a clothesline. I can remember the clotheslines yeah. in the back. You put the clothesline up, take the clothesline down. And then finally, we um, moved on uh, Normandy Avenue to Grandma's, and Grandma had one of those old fashioned washing machines, uh, the tub one, just the way. <laughs> Up and down, oh, yeah. There's electric. Oh, for heaven's sake. But it, the tub moved up and down. Yeah. So I was washing over there, and uh, something went wrong with it where Grandma was. So she called us. We were fixing Dad got it. mad, and he worked, and he, I don't know how much he made, was 20 or $25. Well, oh, yeah. He went out with the car, and he came home with a Maytag. Yeah, over ringer Maytag, 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 yeah. He said, no more of this stuff that I washed them by hand and then. But we washed by hand and then we boiled all our white clothes. Oh. And then you had a ransom twice. Well, you, know, you had a hand wringer. Sure. A hand wringer. But boy. Come to a ringer, excuse me. That's a big jump in technology. Oh, yeah. No, no radio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No car. Yeah. Um, well, Grandma was born after the horse. There weren't any horses. 
Don't worry. Well, I remember the horse drawn. They, they, they didn't horse. Yeah, they didn't. I was, the horse no, I wasn't born. I was born. They had horse drawn garbage wagons when I was little with the big steel rims and the hard rubber tires. I don't remember. On Normandy, and they come on the alley. I can remember the horses, and then they went into the garbage trucks, the open garbage oh, truck. You threw the garbage over the top. These big open trucks, and the flies were around it. Uh-huh. And I the fruit wagon come by. The guy with the fruit wagon and a little scale hanging on the back. And yeah, they had horses. Yeah, horses. You know, for fresh, fresh pro- fresh all your vegetables and your fruits, the farmers used to bring in. And, yeah. And. Uh, no, I can remember that. And even fish. Fresh fish. Fresh fish. Oh. They used to go down oh. to the pier and bring fresh fish. Mm. They used to put ice in the back of it. Mm. And it's fish, fresh fish today. They'd go up and down the alley. Oh. Your vegetables, potatoes, carrots, and that. Oh, and then you were sitting out there and you bought your stuff from the peddler. We spawned the peddlers. Yeah. Remember the icebox? <laughs> yeah, the refrigerator. Yeah, they go. <clears throat> when do no. you go from refri- icebox? You put the you get refrigerator and you put the ice in it? Yeah, we had uh, those for a long, long time. But, yeah, when did we the, go into that? When did you go to the new ones? Like, new ones? Electric ones. Electric ones. Oh, my. Thank you, We had one. Yeah, in decal we got one. But in Chicago, I remember the wooden ice box. Yeah, we you put the we, card in the window. We didn't have any electric ice box in. Uh, well, normally, it was ice box. I, yeah, ice box. And when we first moved to. Uh, mm, tell me, what was you doing when you were in Chicago when you were working, living at home? Did you have ice, yeah, box? ice Yeah, ice yeah. boxes. Yeah. With a pan underneath. Ice, ice man, you, ice man used to come. And put a hunk of ice in there. Big block, a 25 pound block of ice, and put it in your eye. I remember that. I can. Yeah, oh, after the water melts, you break it? No, you have a pan and you take it out. You know, take yeah, it out there used, used to be a spot that ran down below, and then there was a pan underneath the ice box. When it got full of water, half the time you'd forget to empty it, and then you had to scrub your whole kitchen floor. Because it went over on the front of the floor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can remember that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sweet <clears> darn. Uh, after <throat> we moved to Decal, we had an old frigid I can't yeah, remember on the back where porch we had one. From. Yeah. Yeah. We had a we had a little frigid. And then when we moved over to college mm-hmm. Avenue for quite a while, while in, in that three on the third floor. Yeah, right up there. Yeah. We had grandma's old frigid air. Okay. It was an old gray one. Okay. And then when we moved to Linden across from the college. Mm-hmm. There was that one, yeah. We got the one I got. I had till I moved. Is that the one? Holy that's the man. same one. Oh, that's wild. Uh-huh. Oh, B switch. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But I can remember as a kid. I can remember the putting the card in the window and you know, how much ice you want. Twenty five pounds or fifty pounds. Fifty pounds. Or and you turn the card in. Twenty five, fifty. What a hundred. Hundred. I think. And that's what the fourth one was. And you put it up. How much ice you wanted. Then ice can come by and you see what's the sign in the window. It was your ice card. And you said 25, he'd come in and bring a 25 pound block of ice and come in the kitchen, put it in the ice box for you. He had thongs. Did you ever see ice thongs? Uh, like I a big pair of pliers so with handles yeah, on them? Yeah. Handles and like yeah. Yeah. picks on the end. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Back in the and night. all the kids used to run in back the ice wagon and get little chunks of ice. It's like oh, a, oh it's I, like I can do that. I used to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's funny. Mm-hmm. I remember that. That was a treat to go have cold lemonade and that. You didn't have cold drinks and stuff like you do. Well, they would never had pop or Kool Aid or anything oh. like that. Mm-hmm. We had, well, we had Kool Aid. I remember Kool Aid in, in DeKalb. I don't recall drinking Kool Aid uh, as a kid in Chicago. No. No, I don't. Because we didn't really. They had some have. kind of fruit mixes that you had, okay. but they were. So expensive and that that you didn't. I remember the candy stores in Chicago. We used to go to the candy store and get penny candy. Penny candy. Remember, remember the, the wax? Remember the wax pop bottles? You saw them, no. But the wax pop bottles where you break the top off and make the juice out of them? I never really seen those. Okay. Yeah, you had some just recently, yeah. but that was real popular when I was a kid. Yeah, There's okay. those little wax, wax things. Yeah. Your boy come over and drink. Yeah, have right. a good Same time at your party. But that was, that's very old. Yeah. Put it back on. Mm-hmm. See you in I'm not going to get you up there because you're going to go okay. around and do some birthday yeah. present shopping, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, that's, oh, that's I've nice. seen a lot of changes. Oh, yeah. Well, from big city, nothing, really. 
Yeah. You know, from to a country. Big city, yeah. To, where right. prosperity, you know, things hit for everybody, including, you yeah. know, any, any family would have been. Yeah. Uh, that changes. But times were not good. You would lose, you lived through some terrible, tough times. Times, yeah. What, Back, what they call it, depression? Yeah, and before that. That depression, tough. before that, times <laughs> were hard, too. Yeah, there wasn't that much industry. No, there wasn't and, that uh, much industry working or anything. Hmm. Where can you think it'd be real need to have a radio? No, you, no, you don't take much for radio. Well, you no, buy a radio for you know, eight, nine bucks, which is like 10 cents back then. Yeah. Radio, with batteries or even plug-in. You can buy a radio for, what, 10, 12 dollars. Yeah. A nice one. Mm-hmm. And then those times they had yeah. tubes in them, and even then a radio, a radio then would be like what, yeah. like a TV today. Well, I got, got to feel better now. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. 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 Rest it up, yeah. Oh, well, I was drinking that stuff too. I think. Well, extra sugar is uh, yeah. help your system. Well, I was so warm. I just uh, we've been a go from under it's yeah. Nine thirty. I don't think you're going to go today. What was, what was your church like? I don't know. <laughs> How was your church like? Yeah, your church, yeah. church. Yeah. Well, we were supposed to have been Catholics, but my dad had a quarrel with a minister or something. And when uh, when we were little kids, or even before, yeah, when we were little kids, so he wouldn't have anything to do with the Catholics, and he wouldn't send us to the Catholic school, school or church or anything. So most of the time, when we were... 9, 10, 11, and we went to the Lutheran Sunday school with the neighbors. Oh, for heaven's sake. Uh, and then when I was about 12 or 4, my well, my best girlfriend I went to school with, she was Catholic. So uh, she was going to uh, catechism. So she wanted to come with me. So I started going to catechism with her. I must have been about 12 or 13. And so I went to catechism and I made my communion. But nobody else went to church. I was the only one who went to church. I went to make my holy communion all by myself. Really? I didn't know that. My mother made me a dress and she bought me a veil. Bought me a veil and I had white shoes. And I thought, sure, that Teresa would have a picture of me, but I couldn't find any. I went to church alone to make my communion. Well, you were full-headed then, like you are now, <laughs> to do it yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm being complimentary, yeah. though, that, hey, yeah. you wanted well, to then, do it. Uh, uh, from 14 till I was about 18, I went to the Catholic Church. Yeah, that's important that you had enough. And then when stand I started going with the head, huh? What? Then I stopped going to the head. And I was the one that arranged for Teresa. Mm-hmm. She went to have her commune. I went with her in that. I've got a picture of us. Sure. Then. And And um, she wore the same dress I wore. And that, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and then. Um, then we moved to Montclair. That was up there on Normandy Avenue. And then um, Helen started going to the Catholic school. I paid her. She wanted to go. Mm-hmm. And um, so I paid her tuition while she went to the Catholic school and she made it for me. I paid her tuition when she went to business school for two years. Oh, and, and Helen. Yeah. So that's nothing said about it now anymore. So, no. and uh, then from then on, the rest of them went to the Catholic Church. What happened? Because uh, it was close by. Yeah. And then, but after we got married, then uh, of course we went to the Lutheran. Mm-hmm. We were married by the Lutheran minister, and our kids went to Sunday school now. But they went practically every Sunday. I used to take them, walk blocks to take them to Sunday school. Boy. Um, That's uh, But that's the history of my life.